story time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steps Basic, and welcome back to my community show. So, for those of you who don't know, I am a very smart man, and I'm also a very tall man. Now, of course, that being said, there are some moments in my life when I haven't been particularly smart. Now, of course, the tall part I can't really help because, you know, it just kind of happens. <laughs> but every once in a while, you know, and I'm sure everyone can relate to this, we make dumb decisions. We were like, this will work out. This will fly. And this is great. Now, I asked my daughter, what two types of, to what, what two, what, 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 so I asked my daughter, what are, uh, what are some stories that you think I should make for my story times? And, and she goes and tells me that you have to do the airplane and the building. I'm like, oh my God, the airplane and the building stories. Those are some of my favorites to tell. See, let's start with, of course, the building. Now me, my brother, and my friend, way back in the day, back when we were young, strapping lads out in the middle of the desert in, in Douglas, Arizona. Well, outside of Douglas, Arizona, but you know, same. Um, well, we decided we would go for a, uh, a little trip out in the middle of, of the desert like we always did, because what else are you going to do in Douglas, Arizona other than go explore? Uh, but anyway, so we found a little brick shack out, out there, just out there. Now, of course, nobody owned it, I'm pretty sure. We're pretty sure that nobody owned it, but this was, uh, a little shack that you could see from the road if you're driving by it, and, uh... Um, from the highway leading into the town and out, out of the town. Um, I keep forgetting what the name of that highway was, but it was it was the main thoroughfare to get out of the town. But anyway, apart from that, uh, not important. So we found this little shack, the, the building, as it were. And, uh, of course, we proceeded to horse around on it, you know, jumping around on the top of it, coming around on the side of it and everything, and just, you know, being boys, just having fun. But then... We got into our mind, let's break it. <laughs> Don't ask me why. But we thought, let's destroy it. <sighs> now, of course, this wouldn't be necessarily a bad decision, except, of course, one, we didn't know if anyone owned it. We just destroyed it. So good for us. But this was very obviously unkept, untended, so... We figured somebody just abandoned this little shack. Now, when I say little shack, I'm just going to stress, it was at least 10 foot by 10 foot. It was a square, cinder block, little shack. It wasn't a house, it wasn't nothing. But, still. So we took a railroad tie, and we started to, to, to smash out the walls of it. Now, of course, this seems like, oh, this is an effective way to tear down the house, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we're breaking the window and smashing out some of the cinder blocks and whatnot. So why would this be something that we would argue makes me dumb? A dumb decision. Well, we were inside at the time. <laughs> now, of course, the funny part is, like, I haven't told my mom the full story of this uh we told her that of course we were just horsing around on it and then it started to crack and fall apart good story right but no mm -mm, no we were inside of it smashing the, the walls out with the cinder block and the greatest part is so super smart of us we we're inside at the time and then we see the crack start forming up going up the wall it's like oh this building's coming down now <laughs> So my brother, my friend, and I turn to bolt. I get knocked down in the process. They trample over the top of me. And I'm like, well, that's great. And then the, the the roof of the house comes down, bounces off the back of my head, and lands on my arm, pinning me underneath it. <laughs> now, of course, I was freaking out because I just got hit in the back of the head with this thing, landed on my arm, slammed my head into the ground. Now, luckily... I've always been a fan of big glasses, and this is why. Like, I had always con considered getting smaller glasses, but then I was like, eh. every every now every, nowadays, anytime I think about getting smaller glasses, I just remember because I had a big old etch mark in my glasses from where my where there was a rock. It would have gone into my eye. But no, plexiglass, bulletproof glasses, man. They saved my life. I did, however, get a big old scratch right here. 
but <laughs> that was a that was a funny moment do not destroy buildings from the inside especially if you're young and dumb but I was screaming. I was like, oh my God, this thing's on my arm. And my brother and my friend had to lift it up just a little bit to get my arm out from under it. But the way it had landed was it was at an angle on part of the wall you know, underneath. And I was underneath it. And I had to walk back. And me and my brother and my friend are walking back through the desert back to our house. It was at least a good half mile back home. And then uh, I, I come walking in and they're like, you look like you've been through a war. I'm like, <laughs> I wasn't allowed to sleep for a while because, you know, in case of a concussion or anything, but it was, it was, it was a fun moment and a memory that's going to last for a while, thankfully, because I didn't damage my brain in that, but it was, it was <laughs> a moment of pure genius. Now, of course, that moment can be chalked up to peer pressure you know me and my brother and my friend out there i didn't really want to destroy it because the house was cool it was a little shack we could hang out in it we could do uh you know clubhouse things and whatnot but you know they 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 wanted to break it so i'm like okay let's do it i was technically the youngest of us even though my friend was barely older than me i was just you know a little timid kid so you know i'm along for the ride so that being a moment of pure pure pressure let's talk about a moment where my own genius broke me. <laughs> now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, I am a, a smart, tall person. I am about six foot two, right? And this is years later. I'm in the Navy now. And uh, if you've ever, or I was in the Navy, you know what I mean. Um, and if you've ever been in the Navy and served on a ship on deployment, especially one of the bigger ships, specifically a carrier you know what happens when you go underway they put a whole bunch of airplanes in the hangar bays now this is why the story is about an airplane see at this sort of thing they they, they warn you they tell you hey be careful when walking through the hangar bay you will if you hit your head on those airplanes you will hurt yourself really badly and i'm like yeah yeah i know that's stupid i ain't gonna do that and we'd seen stories of people who would be walking through the hangar bay and just wang themselves on the wing and like our suppo i think was the uh the funniest one no uh it was the ace uh, it doesn't matter one of the officers in charge of the supply department <laughs> was one, probably one of the funniest stories because somebody called his name and he walked into an airplane and like his glasses went flying and and he he laughed it off that's why we can say it's funny otherwise you know we get in trouble. <laughs> but my story, I'm sure you can guess where this is going, is I hit my head on an airplane wing. And yes, it was a bad one. <laughs> but so I'm walking through. I just got off work, cashed out the register, went up, turned in my money. I was coming. I was going back to the, the I was going back to the birthing. I was getting off duty finally. And uh, I'm walking through the hangar bay and I'm looking and I see the airplane and Thinking to myself, oh, that wing's high enough. Yep, I can make it under there. I don't have to duck. It's good. I'm going to keep walking. It's great. Quang! Now, I was almost right. <laughs> I was almost right. You can't see it anymore, but I had a line right here across my forehead for the longest time. Because I just barely, I just didn't make it. A wing hit me right here and took me down. <laughs> I'm six foot two looking at this airplane, thinking to myself, the math works out. I can walk directly under that wing. And so I go down to the birthing and everyone's looking at me like, dude, what's wrong? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, why? Dude, you're bleeding. I'm like, what? No way. <laughs> I'm a little shaken after this. And uh, I'm like, yeah, dude, you're bleeding. You need to go to medical. I'm like, what? So I go to the I go to the head across across from the birthing there and I look in the mirror and I'm not just bleeding, fellas. I'm I'm blood down my face bleeding. I'm like, I didn't even feel that. What ha oh my god. So I went down I went down to medical. I didn't clean it up because I was like, they're going to want to see everything, make sure everything's okay. And I went down there and I and <laughs> And the guy's like, airplane wing? Yeah. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> and uh, so he's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, airplane wing. And he's like, well, 
they checked my eyes, made sure I was focusing properly. They, they, uh, cleaned me up and they, they're like, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Gave me some Motrin and sent me on my way. But I was like, oh, God dang it. Okay. Cause that was so short. Let's go for a bonus topic. Another moment of, of sheer brilliance on my part. Now, a couple more years later, I'm not on the Carl Vincent anymore. I'm now on the Nassau. Me and I'm working with my buddy. I oh, know it's still on the Carl Vincent. Uh, this was before I went to the Nassau because I was working. Uh, I was working supply damage control. No, no, no. I was working uh, special projects still. Still, me and my buddy Spinks were working down in a in a in a. Uh, 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 a fan room, right? Yeah, we're working down in a fan room, and we got all these vents and everything. We got our chisel guns. We're chipping up the paint off the ground and polishing the steel, and then we're going to paint it, and then or we're going to prime it, and then we're going to paint it. We got our chisel guns right now, and uh, I'm chipping up the paint and everything, sweeping it up, and then we we finished for we finished before lunch. It's like this was an easy job. So uh, after we finished, and I'm like, wow, Spanks, we did a great job. And she's like, yeah, yeah, we did, it. and I'm like, cool. So I'm going to. I'm going to unplug everything, and and we've again we've had plenty of safety stand downs about wearing your proper per, 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 proper personal protection equipment, and and how to properly disengage all your equipment, and so I've got my goggles on because I'm the leader here, and I got my hard hat on because I'm setting a good example for the younger folks here, and uh, so I grab my cord and I grab my uh, my extension cable, and and I'm just like poof. Don't do this. This is something I know. This is something that I have brained a lot. Do not yank your cords apart. Now, the thing you got to remember is this wasn't a normal extension cord. This was a three-way extension cord, meaning it had a nice little diamond-shaped thing on the end of it. It was about this big. And uh, plug in one, plug in two, plug in three. But we only had the two, obviously. But we were... I pulled it apart. And the extension cord flew up, went right between my glasses and my goggles and my helmet, and whacked me right here. And of course, you know, <laughs> I'm a little dazed. <sighs> and I'm, I call out to my friend, Sphinx. Hey, Sphinx, come check. Am I bleeding? And then I drip blood into my hand. I'm like, yeah, I'm bleeding. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then, and then of course... Um, Sphinx is laughing at me. She says, go up, go, go to the office. And, and I go into the office and I'm like, looking around. I don't have to make a report of this because there's nobody here. So I, I go ahead and I grab some brown paper towels and some duct tape and I'm ready to slap it on my face. And then my, my, uh, my second class walks in, uh, Morales and he's like, Phil, what did you do? I'm like, what? go to medical i'm like oh do i have to He's like yes you have to go to medical uh, fine and then they're like i'm gonna have thought fill out all the stupid paperwork about an incident claim i'm like i'm fine I ended up getting three stitches this time so it was cool and uh yeah I'm, I'm smart i am very smart and i am six foot two and i make great decisions with my life <laughs> But anyway, that is that for that. And uh, so let me know some other, uh, some, some of your favorite incidents that you've done that you were, you were both simultaneously smart and, and perfect for the situation. <laughs> but anyway, announcements. So I have been having uh, more medical stuff going on. I'm still scanning and measuring my blood and everything, my pressure and everything. Um, Apart from that, no real change. I've seen it go down a little bit, but it hasn't really been too great or effect yet. Um, and uh, we're moving through Borderlands 3. I think I'm close to the end of it, honestly. The, the main story, of course, because there's still the DLC to worry about. But I think I'm close to the end of it from just the feeling of everything. Don't know yet. Don't know exactly yet, but, you know, close. <laughs> I... Rem reminder, I do want to start a Bioshock at, after I'm done with this one. And, uh, of course, I have a lot of other things, you know, scheduled and, and waiting in the wings. And now that Elden Ring's out, I want to go back through all the FromSoft, FromSoft games because I haven't beat any of them, technically. And so I kind of want to do that. Uh, apart from that, no real announcements. Uh, it's been a fun week. I did miss one day. 
almost made it through. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, anyway, apart from all that, that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of The Community Show. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please go and pop that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Of course, as always, you're more than welcome. Leave a comment down in the comment section down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hey, man, I can. If I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time for another topic another time. And until then, good night. <laughs>